We have some breaking news here. Just around 25 minutes to go until the closing bell and stocks trading at the lows of the session. You can see the Dow now off just over 1,200 points. Jared Blickery is here with a closer look at some of the selling action we're seeing. Jared. That's right. We're uh, at the session lows right now. Let's get to the Wi-Fi Interactive where we can see the Dow off 1,250 points right there on your screen. NASDAQ composite down nearly 5%. It was only a couple weeks ago that we had another 5% down day in the markets here. And as you're looking at the NASDAQ right there, you can see really at the bottom, uh, um, on a year-to-date basis, exactly how bad the carnage has been. Now, as I pull up the Wi-Fi Interactive once more time, sorry, I had a technical problem there. I wanna talk about the S&P 500 because it has been trying to form a nascent bottom here, but it has so far frustrated investors. And it looks like I have my screen back up. So let's get back to the Wi-Fi Interactive. And this is a day, this is only what's happened today. You can see retailer, here, Dollar Tree down 15%, Costco down 12%. Those are some of the uh, retail components in the NASDAQ 100, but also taking a look at the retail space itself. Now, remember, Walmart just had its worst day since 1987. That was a Black Monday crash. Here is a three-year look, and you can see right that back down to some pretty big levels, right around 120. And it's not looking that much better for Target, which also is having its worst day since the crash of 1987. Now, one bit of good news here, I wanna to go to the S&P 500 uh, because we could be seeing some capitulation. And we saw it in Walmart, we're seeing it in Target today, and we're also potentially seeing it in Apple, and we'll get to that in a second. But here is that bottom, uh, the fledgling bottom that looks right now to be in serious jeopardy of being broken. Um, lots of people have been punting all these bottoms, lots of people have been proven wrong. But a little bit of good news here, I think a capitulation in Apple could signal, could be an all clear uh, for the markets. And I'm gonna go back to the NASDAQ 100 and show you a chart of Apple that we have right here. You can see down 5%. It would take a little bit more, I'm thinking eight, 10%, but um, once you see capitulation in the majors, that's usually a good time to buy. We're just not seeing it through all of them just yet. Here's Apple on a two-year basis, right back down. It is at a huge level too, 140. Have to see if that holds. If it breaks, I think that's when the floodgates open, but not much solace for investors today. I've been looking around for some green, not a lot there. Um, you take a look at the meme stocks. Those have been doing pretty well lately. They're really not off as much as you might have thought. It's really the retail names like Macy's and Dillard's that are off the most here, guys. All right, you're also keeping an eye on Kathy Wood's ARC. What are we seeing there? Yeah, we all know the story of ARC, and here's a little bit more good news. Um, ARC is not as bad off as it has been during other sell-offs, and it's also not as bad off as uh, some as the NASDAQ 100 itself. Here you can see Twilio off 4 or 5%, Shopify off 3%, Zoom off 6%. And let's just take a look at a Zoom chart. Now, this is a stock... Uh, because of its low price or because of the amount of gains that it's given back, it fluctuates quite a bit every day. 6%, not that bad. Um, so I'm looking for good things to say here on a very down day, not having a lot to say about that. But uh, I do think I am watching Apple here. And if we get that 8 10% dip into the close, probably not going to happen today. I think that's going to be more of an all clear signal. But in the meantime, got to hedge our bets.